you can hear me. I'm on a motorway right now, so I'm doing 50, 60. So if you can hear me, if you, I hope you can hear me. Anyway, uh, I thought it'd be fun if I took you to work with me this week. I've just finished work for the day. It is a Tuesday, and I've got a three-day job, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, up somewhere near Dunstable, which is a couple of hours away from me. We're working on a van. We are sorting out all the electrics and solar, I believe, and maybe a heater. I can't remember now. I get so confused with all the different jobs that I've got booked in. M25, bit of traffic. Yeah, nasty. Anyway, first thing I've got to do is find somewhere to camp. If the job is longer than one day's work, then I will camp in my van somewhere near. I don't know if you can see, the van is a complete tip right now. I chucked a whole load of stuff in, cloves and bit and beer, cloves and food and beer. <laughs> and a load of stuff. So I've got to sort the van out when I get there. I've got to make the bed. So I haven't been in the van for a little while. What with having the baby and stuff, it's the first time being away in the van since we've had the baby. Baby's a month old now, as of yesterday. As of the 29th, it was a month. Is it? Baby's a month old. Anyway, so yeah, I uh, I have already had a quick look on Park for Night to see if there's anything near where I'm working tomorrow. I found a couple of spots. Don't look amazing spots, so I might have a quick look on the map to see if I can find something else, but an hour and a half left of this journey. So I'll see you in a bit. It's getting dark now, so I hope you can see me. Um, I'm now traveling all over the south of England to do work with people's vans, if anyone's interested. So I'm going up to Dunstable today. Next week I'm in Taunton over is that Somerset, I think. So yeah, any, anyone who wants any electrical work done on their camper vans, solar panels, diesel heaters, whatever it is really, I'm doing all kinds of things now, insulation and sound deadening. Drop me an email, lukesvanlife at gmail.com. I've been working on people's vans. I mean, it's just, I'm doing my hobby, my job. I'm making a living doing my hobby. I mean, I'm, I'm so happy if I, if I can continue to do this. It's amazing. All right, see you in a minute. The journey was going too well. I'm on the M25 next to Heathrow. Everyone on the left of me is going off the slip road really quickly, but I'm trying to stay on the M25 to get to the top. And it's standstill. No, it's not. I'm crawling along. Let's not exaggerate. What is it about the motorway, the M25 in particular, that what is it about it? People, why is it always crap? Why? There's a car up, up ahead, some kind of obstruction. We've got a lane on my right, which is closed. All the signs are telling me to get over. You've got so many, I'm trying not to swear, people whizzing down this lane. Even though they got to cut into my lane in a bit. Oh, rant, 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 rant. Always something wrong with this blimmin' motorway. 
Oh well, as I'm now completely standstill traffic. I'm gonna see if I can find a better camp spot for the night. Good morning everyone. I've camped only five minutes from today's job, so I don't start till about nine. Although I've got a lot of work to do in the next few days, I think, so perhaps I should get a move on. It's quarter to nine now. Peaceful night, it was very windy here, it's quite open. I might try and find somewhere else for tonight. It's not a great spot, it's next to a roundabout and some boy races park here and there's a bit of litter around which just isn't pleasant to see so I'm gonna try and find somewhere different tonight maybe I'll ask the customer if he knows anywhere I can stay in the van but yeah very peaceful night all right let's go to work morning just woken up to this amazing sunrise Steamy windows, amazing sunrise, and out this side it's just a little car park, but it's all oh, look at all this condensation. It was pretty cold outside last night. Oh, that's cold. Minus five last night, outside, in here, 24 degrees. It's hardly like the snow that Ash has got in Sweden, hey? Still, it's pretty fresh. I, I, I not a fan of the cold at all i like it hot so minus five out here last night i came out at like three in the morning it was just to see how cold it was it was cold now i've got a slow puncture in one of my tires to get that fixed anyway could not live in this van without a chinese diesel heater Anyway, I'm going to start the engine up now and try and de-steam some of the uh, condensation. Need to get one of them Karcher squeegee hoover thingies, but they're quite expensive. Anyway, I didn't film anything on yesterday's work day one, but I'll, we're going to go back to the job now and I'll show you what I did yesterday. Looks smart. This is actually the start of day three. I have just not had time to pick up the cam yeah, pick up the camera. Oh, do you like my thermals, by the way? It's pretty chilly out. Um, yeah, I've ha haven't had time to pick up the camera and film day by day. So I'm gonna go and film you, film the van that I've been working on now. Um, yeah, I'm on my own on the van today. The customer's been there, thankfully, the last couple of days, so he's been able to help. Oh, well, we wait till you see what he's done with his solar panels. He's used Unistrut to fit them on, and precision, precision that he's done on that is amazing. Um, and the electrics that I've done isn't so bad either, <laughs> if I do say so myself. So let's go and uh, let's wake up. I've had my breakfast, had my Marmite on toast and a drink. I don't drink hot drinks at all, and when I see all you lot going on about how much your coffee wakes you up and how oh I need my coffee, I need my coffee, and all the coffee montages that van lifers make, I wish I liked coffee. I just don't, don't like tea, don't like hot drinks. Anyway, let's go to work. Hello everyone. 
So this is a beautiful VW Crafter with very low mileage on. Stunning van. I do like crafters. I just don't think I can, they're ever going to be in my budget. Anyway, so let me show you what I've been up to. I've been sorting out all the electrics. That's... Let me try and explain what we've got here. It's my standard usual setup, everything I recommend. Anyway. All right, so. Two and two, 130 amp hour AGM batteries. I put some conduit over these cables because they overlap here. You never know, they might vibrate uh, and rub, rub thin and eventually touch. So yeah, put some conduit over those bracing cables. Uh, the, the, the negative terminal goes straight to the shunt, the battery monitor. And then the shunt goes to there and then that's where all the negatives from the Orion, the solar charge controller, everything. Uh, the fuse box, which is around the side here, they all go to that positive and goes through that hole there, comes out of this breaker, and then this is the positive bus bar for the Orion for the, for the fuse box and the solar charge controller. This is the Orion 30 amp DC to DC charger, it's all working right, right now. This is the breaker for it. This is the breaker for the 130 Victron solar charge controller. Uh, this breaker will be for the solar panels, which I've got to wire in today. So you can separate the panels. You know, you can cut the panels off if, if, if you want as well. And around the side here, we have a breaker. We have an isolator switch and we have a fuse box. And I've been making notes here, which fuse does what? Because I've been wiring in. Look at all, look at the ceiling. Lights, wires, wires, wires. We've got eight spotlights going on the ceiling. This is I put Max fan going here. Lights, lights, lights. Oh, I've got to run another cable for another skylight they're going to have here. Over this side, we've I've put a bed socket. They're going to have some sockets by the heifer of the bed here. Uh, under here, I've wired uh, garage lights. They've also got garage lights down here. Over this side, we're going to have more sockets on the sofa. And there's a boiler which is going underneath this sofa as well. Truma, uh, the Truma combi boiler. The solar panels are just stunningly done. I'll try and film them today. I've got to go up and connect. The panels are fitted. The gland is fitted where the the uh, cables come through. Um, but I've got to go and connect the solar panels up to the controller today. So that's what I'm going to do. And I will probably just do a quick video when I'm finished for the day. Show you what else I've done. But yeah, I really like how smart this is. The customer did a really nice job building this wheel arch box. It's a solid box, nice piece of ply. Um, so originally there was a box that was a bit lower down and I asked him to build it up a bit so we could fit everything on here. I much prefer it when the cables just disappear into the wheel arch box because it's quite neat and tidy. We were gonna put a bit of ply on this wall and have everything fitted to that wall. But then you've got cables showing. And I'd rather do this. I think it looks neater. Yes, there are cables in the wheel arch box. Um, quite a lot of cables in the wheel arch box, but smart. It looks smart like this. This is a list I made yesterday. I've got to run a cable for a water pump a rear max fan, a fridge, and an oven. So the bed bed in this van is going across here. They've got these channels on, and they're gonna fit the Ikea bars along. The fridge is going in the middle of the bed, so I need to run a cable, with an, just enough cable with a bit of excess here so he can power the fridge. Uh, the kitchen's going this side, where the sliding door is, and there's gonna be an oven there, uh, the Dometic oven. So I've got to run a cable for the clicker, because I believe the clicker is electric, so I've got to make sure that that clicker works on 12 volt. If it's a mains one, then I'll have to use a little inverter for the mains clicker. Or just use a lighter. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. Pump, water pump, rear max fan, fridge, and oven. Yeah, these are the solar panels. 275 watt Victron mono solar panels very cleverly mounted onto the uni strut. I 
thought the customer engineered this really well. photos. I like taking photos of these bus bars when they're not covered up because they look, they look cool. Right, put these bus bars covers on. covers have like a little bit of plastic in the middle so I have to pull the cables ever so slightly to just be able to get the, cape, the cover on. Alright, there we go. All done. Let's hope the customer's happy. I would be. It's uh, neat and tidy and safe. I, want, I, hope that it, I like it when customers invite me back to do some more work later on down the line. So I hope I get to come back and see, see what this van looks like when it's finished. Because I think the customer's got some mad skills, he's, he's a bit of a jack of all trades, so I reckon it's going to be a really nice fan, so. All right, let's go. And I'm back in traffic on the motorway again. Anyway, that, I really enjoyed that job. I loved like getting all the electrics kind of nice and neat, and uh, once that wheel arch is boxed in and he's, you know, he's finished a van, it's going to be a nice little feature as well, the electrics, it's quite a nice, Quite a nice feature, I think. Really nice couple. Thank you very much for hiring me and um, for looking after me with food and drinks. I really appreciate it. It was lovely to meet you. Anyway, I, I hope I get to see them again and see what their van looks like. All right, I got a couple of hours to get home. Flipping heck! Did you see that? I don't know if you saw that. Got a couple of hours to get home. Flip. Got a couple of hours to get home. Flip. Got a couple of hours to get home. Flipping heck! Did you see that? I don't know if you saw that. That was someone doing like 70 down the hard shoulder and across these chevrons. Flip! Scared the life out of me. What? I don't understand what just happened. That was a hard shot. What? Right, I'm gonna concentrate on driving because this is a bit intense. It's the most, ugh, I hate motorways. Thank you very much for watching everybody. Really appreciate you watching. I've got some good product giveaways, product reviews and giveaways soon, so uh, it's, it's quite exciting. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that new notification bell so you don't miss my videos, and I'll see you soon. Thanks again.